One of the main issues at AUSA this year has been the problems with the US budget. The uh, continuing resolution means that you can only get the same funds for your programs as you got for the previous year. So therefore any military programs, acquisitions that require increases in funding gradually because they're ramping up to production, that means they're going to have face problems because they're not able to get the same level of money. Brigadier General Dave Bassett, who is the uh, PEO of Ground Combat Systems, has told people that AMPV, one of the programs, could be at risk because there are requirements to increase those funds over the next few years because it's one of those programs that's ramping up. Another program that's at risk is the Striker Lethality Program, um, which is this vehicle behind me is the 8x8 Striker from General Dynamics Land Systems, and there's a program in, in place to uh, improve its lethality by adding a remote control turret. Uh, now, this program has uh, had its RFP out last week, and for they're looking for a 30 millimeter gun that goes to go on a remote turret and there's about five or six vendors that are expected to bid for this. Um, so that is going to lead out through to next year and therefore uh, financial year 16 funds are going to be needed to continue that program uh, for the years to come. The vehicle that's received the most attention at AUSA this year has been the expeditionary light tank behind me from BAE Systems. Uh, the reason it's got the attention is because it's uh, actually a system back from the 90s called the M8 Armoured Gun System that's been kind of re-rolled to, uh, to meet a mobile protected firepower requirement from the US Army. Uh, they've ad added a few diff uh, modernizations to it, um, but really it's, it's but they probably jumped the gun a bit because the uh, the army's still looking at the concept behind uh, what what a mode MPF system is actually going to look like. One of the more interesting product developments this year at AUSA is with the Harris RO tactical radio. They're developing a phase three upgrade for the system, which will allow global communications across the world. The way they're going to do this is by uh, linking up from this handset through to the Iridium satellite system, which is a commercial network. They have 66 satellites around the world all moving around giving you 100% global coverage. Through that network the satellites will then transfer the signal down to a uh, Department of Defense gateway which is in Hawaii and through there they'll link through to the entire global uh, Defense Department network which will give you the global capability. The Striker 8x8 combat vehicle is also going under engineering change proposals. This means that they are going to start to improve the capability of the, the vehicle because over the last few years, especially during conflicts in Iraq and Afghanistan, a lot of extra material, extra equipment was put onto the vehicles to, to meet urgent operational requirements, to meet threats um, from IEDs or for extra surveillance capabilities. Uh, so the ECP is designed to bring back some of that extra space, extra uh, potential, so that in the future if any more additional equipment is required it can go on without having to uh, reduce the vehicle's capabilities. The production contract is going to come in June next year and uh, the, uh, the, the company has uh, now put about eight vehicles into testing with the US Army. AUSA this year has been a real good crack, it's been really busy, lots going on, there's a real positive vibe to the US defence market again after the recent budget problems, hopefully they can still get those sorted. Uh, for more information see our Shepherd News website and uh, look at Land Warfare International.